Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kati and today I have my second unboxing from Filofax and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, where should we start? I, I want to start with the main thing. I don't know, but I want to start here. So there is a little box. Oh, it's so tiny. So this is the first organizer i ordered from file effects uk and let's just open it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's so tiny as a size comparison, here is my personal size and this is the one I bought. So it is the mini one. <laughs> it's so cute. Maybe we'll leave it, leave that there. So you, I don't know, as a comparison, because it's so hard to see from these videos, the real size is if there is nothing to compare it to. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my god. So this is the Safiano plaque. Can you see the structure? Actually, I really like this. It's nice. It's really nice. So let's see. It has an elastic pen loop. It's a pretty large one. Well, that's not going to work. Not this one. Yeah. Okay. So then it has the secretarial pocket and two card slots. And then here in the back, it has this pocket you could put a notepad in but i don't think that filofax had any small like mini size notepads this is so cute <laughs> so let's see it has a fly leaf and a week on two pages diary this is so tiny i can't handle it Maybe I could get you a little closer. I have to say it's a bit full, so it's not easy to turn these pages. There is a lot of extra information that I really don't need to carry around. So I bought this mini as my EDC, so everyday carry. Well, mainly once a week carry or two times a week carry now, but Mm. I just it's so cute <laughs> and actually you couldn't write here very good like if you have an appointment or something and it's so dark I can see properly the color of the paper is it cream or white I can it looks more like cream to me this is white well it's probably white it's just so dark in here because it's the winter time <laughs> oh, i don't know this is so cute then there are addresses and notes on lined paper yeah but i just have to take this uh, half of this out because it's just too full. I can admit I was dreaming about the Malden Navy Mini because it just came out before I was ordering this but I was just thinking that it just has too much. It has the zipper here, the card slots and I think it has the big 
back pocket and it's made of leather so I just thought it would be much heavier than this Safiano and this feels very this feels so nice as this also feels so oh this is now heavy compared to this because and this has also has always feel so light to my hands but now comparing with this this is heavy but this is yeah I think this can could work for me as a everyday carry but I just have to set it up and take a lot of these things out and but this is so cute so cute but then believe it or not I bought something even smaller and <laughs> this was like an <laughs> a bit of a joke i just i just had to have it <laughs> so and i just oh it's a bit of beaten oh i don't know i just <laughs> i bought this <laughs> uh i don't know this is like a key ring i don't know it's a bit beaten up there Mm. but this is the original <laughs> i bought myself a filofax original it has even the text on the bottom oh. so this has oh sorry so i don't understand why they don't have the pictures on the website so they don't have one picture showing what's inside or at least i didn't find but there are well not posted but like these notes here inside and actually i saw that some filofax web pages have even like a filler but it looks like it just glued in here but yeah you could use this as a key ring and i have seen someone using this as a like a, what's it called actually i just took this to get a feel of the original so if i would like it so now i have myself i have the filofax original <laughs> and it cost five pounds minus the 25 percent they had on black friday and i can't help it this is kind of cute so it's so small <laughs> yeah okay i i know i know some yeah but you have to be sometimes a bit silly don't you think you can sometimes buy these silly things i did buy also something else so actually as you can see i this time i took refills like inserts in three sizes so mini pocket and personal should we go from the biggest to the smallest i do that now so i did buy personal size week on two pages diary the academic version and if you are wondering why beep i took that so this has started end of july and this will go to next next year august begin and i took this because this was on sale and very cheap and i just have now loved to use these because i got in the personal metropole i got the week on two pages 2019 so i couldn't use that one either but i then started to use it as note pages and i actually really liked it because i had like four sections in my note pages so i write one thing here one here one here so i like it and then i also started to do it like that if i have used one page i just turn it around and then use the other page so as you can see i like to write on the right side of the planner and that works for me so i just took this because it was so cheap and then i got also the 25 percent off so now i have enough of note pages for next year because i have two times the 2019 
diary also so I'm not running out of these and I'm not scared to use these because that's one problem I have if I have one blank paper I'm scared to use it but now I'm not scared to use it because it's like already gone it's already like trash so now I can write notes on there like brain dump and everything so I don't know why I'm like that, but I'm happy that I have it. Then these are the ones I wanted to buy in my previous order, but I couldn't because my end total went up because of the offer they had then the buy three, pay two. So it didn't make sense to buy these cheap ones, but this is the four year planner 2020 to 2023. Let's see this. So there is on three pages last, well, this year, what last year, the next year and then 22 and 23. And I have to say that I like this more than this horizontal year planner because I just, this is like so big. As you can see, it's like, well, how many? Seven pages wide i feel like this is too wide for my eyes to comprehend so this looks very nice so i can see on one view the whole year and of course this is so tiny so you can't write there much but maybe you can track something and i just thought this was pro appropriate this that has started this year because I have started my YouTube channel this year then I get here the first four years of my YouTube channel if I will go so long let's hope for that <laughs> but yeah so I took two of these because these were also very cheap yeah I'm happy with these then let's go to pocket size what did I buy Wee, these are so cute <laughs> oh my god as you can see i like tiny things so i took the year planner the vertical version so this is for next year and this is now pocket size so it's for my smithson bijon and here i was planning to keep this as a shopping tracker let's see now i have tracked my spending in my a6 hobonichi but i have now thought about to make this pocket planner as my reference and budget planner so i could here put everything and this is so i have to write so small but that's okay so i can track here my purchases so then i can on one view look at what i have bought in six months and then the other six months but let's see it's it will unfold what i will do with these but then i bought something else too and okay this was again 100 gsm and this was 80 gsm so these that are foldable seems to be the 100 gsm and the others are then 80 so month on two pages and yet again it's so small tiny i i just don't there is so much extra here and these ads and everything but let's go to these yes and here i was planning to track my bills so i could here write the bills on which day they are due or then here. I still have one month to figure that out. But these are also so, so, so cute. I could just, oh my God. <laughs> ah, yes, now we are going to the mini ones. So this was the totally right order because it's getting cuter. <laughs> uh, so white plain note paper. Oh, this is 70. GSM okay then we'll have to open it although it's just plain white paper <laughs> so tiny so tiny oh my god yeah very <laughs> it's just 
It feels like I'm like a child again and I'm playing with my Barbies or something. Everything is so small and tiny. Then I also took this year planner, the vertical for the mini. This is 100 GSM. Uh, so cute. Uh, I just... Uh, so cute. So this is the... Uh, this is like... Oh, I'm so happy. This is kind of my... I know, I know. This went over my budget. This everything went over my budget. But let's pretend this is my Christmas present for myself. And hope I'm not buying anything in December. So I can call this my Christmas present. So month on two pages again. So I now have this same for all the three sizes. Is this... Yeah, 80 GS and there is no colors. Why is this white and gray? Okay. The same ads, white paper, and then the <laughs> so tiny, so cute. Ah oh, this I thought to have in my mini so that I can write here any important dates or appointments so that I have a calendar where I can easily write when I'm on the go but I don't yet have my pen I don't know which pen I want to use with my mini but this I'm not going anywhere now due to the situation so I have time to Think about and search for a pen that I want to use with my mini. And then I took the ruler for the mini. This was a bit extra, but I just couldn't couldn't stop myself. And they had the minus 25%, so I gave in. Where should we put it? just want to test it out let's put it here which way if I put it like this then I don't have to look at the file effects text oh my god this is like amazing because it's so small and light ah uh, I will be so happy when I have time to set all my new planners. So I have to set up this mini one. I have to still make the setup for my personal. And now I have to make the new setup for my Smithson. So I already have the references here going on, but I still have some work to do here too. I still have to say something about the shipping issues. They were not one-time problems. I don't know if you have the same problem in other countries, but at least for Finland, if you are ordering from Filofax UK, they are not giving all the contact information for DHL, and then DHL fails to deliver your package. I don't understand why Filofax can't give the information because other companies can do it. They give your address, phone number, maybe even email. DHL has all the information. They can send you an email that your package is coming. They can send you a text message. Your package is coming today, this time. And they can call you, please, can you give us the code that we can come to this door and deliver this package. But Filofax only gives the address. DHL can't deliver and they have to contact Filofax and ask for my phone number before they can deliver. The first order took one week extra because of that. The second order came quicker because I had already sent DHL an email that, hey, I have a package coming from the same sender as last week and apparently there will be the same problems so you can't deliver and then you have to contact and da 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 they tried the delivery they failed as i said <laughs> and they found my email and then they could 
put my contact information on that package and then they succeeded in the delivery. Due to that, I'm not so keen to ordering anymore from Filofax UK. Why can't they give the information for DHL that they can deliver the package? And why are they not giving me the customer the tracking number so that I could self see where my package is going and when it's coming? I don't understand. And they have gotten feedback from Finland. Apparently you can ask for the tracking number from the customer service, but I don't think that makes any, any sense. So every other company has succeeded in this delivery thing so much better than Filofax UK. And I just don't understand it because Filofax is such a big business. Why can't they give all the information that DHL needs to deliver the package? If you know the answer to that, please tell me. That's it. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments or you have the answer for my questions, <laughs> please leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video and want to stick around and want to see my new setups when I am ready to show them, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.